Hey, good morning everyone. This is just a quick test of the new version 10.1 software and specifically traffic cones because here on, this is UC Davis campus, there's a whole bunch of construction and I love testing it here because there's so much temporary stuff going on. This has kind of been like my test area for FSD, especially traffic cones. So let's see how it goes. Right off the bat, look at how fast the car is going on this exit. Like, way too fast. Um, I've been reporting this for the last uh, couple months. It just takes the exit extremely fast. It doesn't decelerate. I mean, it wasn't unsafe. It didn't hit anything. It just comfort wise, don't like that. So this is a yield and it's actually really hard to see. This is actually an intersection that someone commented about this design and they said, hey, test it on this like up ramp with a curve. Good, it's changing lanes. Oh, and it turned. So before, back in the last build, what was happening is it would kind of like start to change the lane and just stop halfway. And the car would be cut over both lanes. And you saw what it just did. It actually knew it wasn't gonna make it and just finished the lane change maneuver. That was incredible. That was new behavior. So here it's always struggled. And let's see if it slows down. Is it gonna slow? Okay, let the truck in. Here what was happening is the steering wheel would jump over to the left every time. It was mistaking the shadows of the cones. It's still kind of doing it. You see the cones like floating out in front of the car, in front of the car here? But it's not jumping around. Okay, they fixed that. So every build I've had, the car would swerve out like every single time. So that was, that was improved. And then over here, there's a temporary closure with a bunch of construction and you, you're actually forced to drive on the left-hand side. So far, so good. I like that it, it I, I wish it would have gave a little bit more room. Like, I, I feel like the that truck was hesitant to do the lane change because we were a little bit close. Um, I think my follow distance is set at three. Let's see. Yeah, it's set at three. Um, I, I wish it would have like detected that the turn signal was on. See how they're flashing? It's not detecting that and give it a little more space. It's working really well for brake lights though. That was excellent. So, you know, like I was saying, the last, gosh, since we got the vision software, it's really struggled at this area because it was always wanting to like bounce to the left and my car would just swerve around all those cones and sometimes it would try to cut through to the right. Um, I mean, it's drivable, but it, it was still trying to cut through them. Um, this time, it, it even the steering wheel, as you can see, it wasn't like jumping around, it just drove straight. That's, that's great. See how it handles this turn. This one's a little bit challenging. For some reason, the way that the sun flips, you see how car, slow the car's going? Um, it's better. It used to go so incredibly slow here. Um, now it's just, it's going pretty well. I've, this turn was better. It, it jumped a little bit near the end of the apex of that curve on the turn, but it was so much, so much smoother. Like it's so hard to like convey that to everyone watching how the smooth factor, but if you just watch the steering wheel, you can kind of see what I'm talking about. You'll see it kind of like jerk, but it's a lot smoother. So here is where it usually struggles. And I'm really curious to see how it's gonna perform. So I don't know if you can see it on the camera, it is road closed. There's a sign, there's cones, everything's closed. And the car, well, I think it's gonna do it again. So you see how it's trying to path on the right. If you can see it with the camera lens, it's actually completely closed. There's a row close sign, there's traffic cones. So let's see if it actually corrects itself. This is so challenging. There's bicyclists everywhere, pedestrians, cars. This is a very, very challenging area. So I'm really curious how it's gonna handle this. It's gonna go wide and it sees the cones and it's not happening. So again, this is where my car has struggled and see all the cones everywhere. See this, see the line, <laughs> like jumps to the right. This has been my top issue. See what's happening here? The car is like super confused. 
you see how it like it goes so far to the right oh man it's like nerve-wracking because you have like this curb that's so close and the car's like jumping around and you know there's pedestrians and bikes so okay so i mean that was my first short it's better but it still needs some work for cones <laughs>